The Northern Marianas braces for impact as Belaven is set to go through the Marianas. We spoke with authorities this morning on what you need to know to prepare. We talked about those wiggles. This is what we were uh, talking about. So we're seeing that continue. Uh, that is not necessarily good news for folks in Tinian and Saipan. This means that, as currently forecast, Tinian and Saipan could take a direct hit by either a Category 1 or a Category 2 typhoon at the time of passage. The NMI is bracing for impact and preparing for Belaven's arrival as the community tracks its every move. A Category 1 typhoon means sustained winds range between 74 to 95 miles per hour, and Category 2 would bring sustained winds of 96 to 110 miles per hour. This afternoon, Governor Arnold Palacios declared Typhoon Condition 2 for Saipan and Tinian and Typhoon Condition 3 for Rhoda. Damaging winds are expected within 24 hours on Saipan and Tinian, while Rhoda faces the possibility of damaging winds within 48 hours. U.S. President Joe Biden also approved the NMI's emergency declaration, expanding FEMA's capabilities. Right now, you should be preparing your home. That's the very most important thing. Uh, that I think our emergency management and the Red Cross want to emphasize that you need to be getting the food supply, getting your water supply, making sure all your, your vehicles and generators are topped off with fuel, uh, making sure that all the you know, loose debris around your home is cleared. Uh, this is a serious storm. Uh, the thing that the weather service, like the term they like to use right now is rapid intensification. And that makes everybody nervous. So as the storm gets uh, 12 to 24 hours away, uh, anything could happen. It could just spin up and it could become a very, very destructive storm. So we really encourage everybody in the community to prepare. The Red Cross says it has already deployed six generators to shelters on Saipan. Their team of volunteers is ready to support any recovery efforts on Rhoda and Tinian after the storm. So we're all preparing now, uh, securing our, our buildings and campuses, and um, our primary shelters uh, are all being prepped and will be inspected prior to opening. Once we receive the official notice from the governor, from Governor Palacios, we will issue our official memo, um, closing schools, opening shelters, and, you know, just advising the parents and the community about, you know, safety precautions. Those shelters will open Monday at 6 p.m. Residents are expected to bring their own bedding, food, and drinks in the shelter. No pets are permitted in the shelter unless the pet is a certified service animal. An ID should be presented upon entry. The shelters are at the Marianas High School Cafeteria, Culverville Elementary School Cafeteria, Cagman High School Cafeteria, on Tinian at the Elementary School Cafeteria, on Rhoda at the Cinepalo Office on Aging. For Saipan, the Office on Aging will also be open to accommodate persons with disabilities and those with medical needs. Transportation to the shelters is also available. The NMI Hospital will provide shelter for pregnant women who are at least 36 weeks pregnant or at risk for preterm labor during the typhoon. We have not pushed out any uh, assets at this time. It's just the all uh, coordinations with the, our teams there. Um, with, uh, for example, we, we have our personnel that we have uh, like listed on standby to respond and get <coughs> onto the Southern Islands. So right now we are just in a positions where we're positioning, positioning uh, our uh, areas, right, in, in our own uh, areas of uh, um, responsibility, but we have not pushed it out yet. Yeah, and I'll just add to that, uh, you know, if uh, immediate needs of survivors post-storm um, supersede that of the, of the uh, local government here, uh, FEMA is postured. Our distribution center in Guam is prepared with, uh, you know, life-saving, uh, life-sustaining measures, food, water, you know, tents, cots, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. Uh, so we are postured and ready to support there as well. Rhoda Mayor Arby Hulkug told KUAM, we are ensuring that all safety and sanitary measures are in place in case Rhoda needs to respond to ensure the well-being of our people. Just before news of the typhoon, the Commonwealth Utilities Corporation approved emergency procurement for Rhoda power generation as the island currently has no backup power. Residents further north are also preparing. Northern Island's Mayor Valentino Tysican said, I've been in constant communication with the residents since last week in preparation for the storm. Although the track of the storm is still uncertain, 
I advise them to remain in contact with CNMI Emergency Operations Center. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.